this could turn into a really bad situation. Bob Andrews on the prowl. It really could. Because it'd be about like that chihuahua of mine chasing a greyhound bus. She wouldn't know what to do with the bus if she caught it, and I wouldn't know what to do if I caught something prowling. I probably have to go back and look it up in the dictionary or Yahoo. There's a lot of stuff in the dictionary that I can't spell, so I can't look it up. You can't spell over four letter words? Well, I have trouble when it gets up past six. <laughs> you know, six has just got three letters in it. Ten. Six. What? Six has only got three letters in it. What are they? S and I and X. <laughs> of course, three. All right. Three has got yeah. five. That's about like it's not but twelve. But seconds. five's only got four. That's about like there's just twelve Whereas seconds. Whereas one's in, got three. Like just uh, like there's just twelve seconds in twelve months. Yeah. In a whole year, there's only. But there's only seconds. there's only eleven thirties. That's exactly right. There's only one twenty-seven, one twenty-eight. No, there's twelve. Huh? There's twelve. What? Twenty-sevens and twenty-eights. Yeah, no, it couldn't be twelve. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, I mean, oh, yeah, you're right. There's twelve <laughs> of them, yeah. Got to be twelve of them. Yeah, yeah, you got twelve of them. Now, there's twenty-nine 12, 20, every 20, now and then. Yeah, it'd be twelve, twenty-seven. There's twelve, twenty-nines occasionally. Uh, but they be twelve seconds. That's right. Twelve seconds in well, a year. we love to have you join We're in. We're sorry you're not learning anything. Scar scholarly discussion. Of things. Just tickle to death. We're pleased to be with you. You know, one thing, my New Year's resolution, I, I want to make it a New Year's wish. I don't know. I've, I've tried to get this done for I don't know how many years, you know. So I'm going to add one more reason why we need people to have jobs around here. Why's that, Bob? Get them off the highway so I can pull out of the yard here and go down the street. Never knowing you might have a refrigerator on a boat trailer and need to get on the road. <laughs> I've never seen so many people, and I'm being honest, and I love people, and I'm a people person. But I've never seen so many people with nothing to do but ride up and down the road. Bored. Well, I don't know where they get the money. Gas is expensive where I live. That's all. They, that's all they do for entertainment is ride up and down Jacksonville Pike. You need to stop here a little more often because I've got some deals on roofing, I know and siding, and windows, and doors. Got some I doors. Know. Got some linoleum rugs, kitchen rugs. I know rugs. you do. And Bob Bar, he's got some of everything. Oh, I've got some of the best washers and dryers and refrigerators and kitchen stoves, and beds, and mattresses. Uh, full size, half size, king size, queen size, just whatever you need, I got it. And of course, Elizabeth's got a whole bunch of baby items, anything from uh, door beds to uh, play pens, strollers, car seats, booster seats, potty chairs. I tried to sit down with them party chairs, but it just wouldn't work. It just wasn't, wasn't big enough. I could understand that. Right. And we got a lot of things here. You know, I got I got a turkey cooker, a, a new turkey cooker. For new did. turkeys? Yeah, to cook new turkeys. Yeah, we we'll cook, cook old turkeys too, right? Now, old turkeys take a lot more cooking than new turkeys. Right. But uh, it's really a nice outfit. It uh, sells for a hundred and some dollars, and I want fifty for it. That you that you don't know that I went up to the went up to the Country Time Dance Hall Saturday night and made a movie, do you? Where's the Country Time Dance? Up there in the middle of town, and I'm going to show oh, you're it. Are you talking about that Cliff place? No. Where? Up there in the middle of town. Cliff ain't got nothing to do with it. The one in the basement? No. I didn't even know they had a Country Time. Well, a lot of things you don't I know. I would have been up there shaking a leg. Well, that's why I didn't tell you. Thanks. I want to get some quality photographs. All right, there you didn't want me to run everybody off the dance floor. That's right. Want. Tell you what I did get, though. There I got go. a 25-minute presentation 
at the last of this show, and I'm going to show it to you. You can see yeah. who's up there dancing and who there's a dancing oh, with. Tell me, and they got some real good music up there. They tell everybody the where the Country Time Dance Hall is. It's right down there in the middle of the town on the right-hand side going toward the hospital. And it's uh, right there beside of the walking trail. You can come in from the back alley back there from the parking lot. And it says Country Time. Just spell like the lemonade stuff. T-Y-M-E. Well, I was stopping there for lemonade. And I thought, well, that's because you just went to the wrong place. They don't yeah. have lemonade. But they got coffee. And I tell you what, I mean, this is all foolishness aside. They had some really good music. I was impressed. I'm going to compile some more of their stuff right. and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little better quality recording. I hate to say it, but the picture quality in this show here will not be the best. The reason is you didn't take me along to clean you in. That ain't the problem. Yeah, it it's is. all got to do with technical yeah, ditches. Well, I, I but if you a, tune in to Channel Twelve more nights you'll see a better I am a technical oh. play person and I'll be glad to bring my two pound hammer and we'll work on that thing next time. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So, uh, oh, my nose is itching. Right. Yeah, that's right. That sounds like a technical problem. Yeah, it is. Uh, see if we've got a message here that's important. Country time, and when do they hold these shindigs? Friday and Saturday night. Friday and Saturday night. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is not to be... Does the Senior Citizen Association still have theirs going on on uh, Thursday and Saturday night? That's Who? The senior Citizens. Oh, yeah, I reckon this is, this is a different setup. Man. Okay. You know, I'll show you. they got a good band. I'm going to show you the, 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 some of it here. And, and, and they really had some good music. And it was, it was kind of a slow night because everybody was still hung over from Turkey. But uh, they got a they got a fine establishment up there. Got uh, they got a dance floor, and then they got another one up overhead. Probably hold. I don't think it'd be wise to put that many in there. But it'd probably hold three hundred people. Really? How yeah. About that? Well, let me ask you something. Did you stay for the whole program? Well, I stayed. No, I left for the last. Hey, for the last set. Well, what I was really getting around to was finding out, do the women start looking better at closing time? They don't serve any alcohol. They look just as ugly at the end as they do at the beginning. Wasn't that about, but do the women still get looking better at closing time? I don't know. It didn't stay long enough from them to look That's good. That's what you need to do. You missed out on the opportunity of a lifetime. No, there's some pretty women up there. I'm sure Some ugly were. men. In other words, they couldn't have looked any better than they did at closing time, could you? No, they didn't look no better. T I didn't stay at closing time, but it's looking good as I wave by. Okay. You might want to check that out, folks. Honestly, you might want to. Do you think I would make a bigger hit in my hat or with my rag on? I think you'd make a bigger hit if you'd have a little facial surgery, maybe a lift here and a nip and tuck. Probably and just lift one side. You get your lips puffed up. Now you just grow your mustache longer. I don't think there's any hope for you. That's like, uh, I don't know. I got a young lady who's walking down the road here in front of my place. I was pulling out and I said, you need a, a ride down the street? She said, yeah, she was going down to a uh, corner grocery. She got in there and I noticed she had all kind of hardware sticking out of her lip and everything. And I asked her, I said, what? I said, look, I said, if it was a lightning storm here, I wouldn't have picked you up. I said, you get me lightning stuff with all that. I told them that with hardware and her yeah. lip. She says, I said, why are you wearing that? She said, oh, it, it makes me look better. I said, you really think so? I said, I don't. I said, you probably got a tramp stamp on the back too, haven't you? She said, yeah, I do. And yeah. she had one of them uh, Harley Mama Tramp stamps. Did she on. show it to you? No, I didn't ask say it. I just figured she did have. I've never figured out why that, that, that ugly women get their ankles tattooed. Is that to uh, distract that you? The women with the biggest old ankles you ever seen have a little bitty tiny tattoo uh, on, their, on their ankle. 
B-O-B-A-N-D-R-E-W-S. I would not want to call attention to that portion of my anatomy. Well, that's better than some of the others. Well, there's others that they should not call attention to. <laughs> <laughs> Bob said it, that wasn't me. Right. <laughs> well, see, I'm so old, I can be excused for the way I look. I Senility. Don't no problem. Senility. Let's, <laughs> tell them real, problem, let's tell them real quick about Dixie Concrete and how they've got oh, all sorts man, of concrete the products. The older they get, the better they look. The did older you, they get, the harder concrete yeah, did is. Did you know that that, hard, that contract will continue to harden for up to 50 years after they pour it? One of the few things that's harder at 50 than it was at 30. Yeah, I, I can tell you. Now I'm talking about concrete. That's what I'm concrete. talking about. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Talking about concrete. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. Uh, it does. You can pour it in water, you can make, pour a slab, or you can make your retaining wall, or, or use it uh, in your bricks, uh, that sort of thing. It will continue to harden for 50 years. And that's Dixie concrete, that's true of their septic tanks. And uh, remain hard for several more years. Yeah, oh yeah, but they don't just quit there, you know. Uh, it, in fact, it's kind of like uh, your. Uh, uh, them winged insects that only that remain dormant so, for so long and then come a flying out every seven, seventeen years, fourteen years, whenever it is, you know. Next concrete, they've got septic systems too, and I'm gonna tell you what we're doing. We're sitting right here watching Mr. Heater run out of gas because I didn't have another tank to fill up, and that one may quit before the show's over. In which case, Bob, I'll be carrying on by himself. No, I'm gonna put my members only jacket on that I bought at the Starvation Army. I got that there Wilson gas over here on the side, and you need you some of that because. Now five six two five four 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 right in the middle of the road and saw me holler and that'll keep you warm. I did tonight. talk to him today. You did? Yeah. I bet you did. Hello. If he didn't get a move on my heaters, I was gonna bring him bring him a dose of X like How me. long did you talk to him today? Uh, three days. <laughs> Digger's a good man. Down there in the middle of the road and saw me holler. I highly recommend his services. Uh, good profane. So. Good service. Uh I told him my customer was going to freeze to death if he didn't fix that uh, heater. And he said he'd get right on it. So I didn't call him back today. I just had too many things to do. You see me riding around my big truck? Uh, yeah. So you're hauling, pulling a boat trailer with a, a stove and a refrigerator <laughs> on it. <laughs> well, let me tell you what I did. I had to go pick up the boat trailer. And it was halfway to where I was going to pick up the stove and refrigerator. I said, just grab a piece of plywood and we'll put the, your stove on the front. And we'll uh, put the refrigerator between the runners for the boat. I kept and looking for Jed Clampett. <laughs> no, in person. So uh, we strapped it on there and we got like, uh, I expect we got far from here to uh, Rainbow Restaurant running tires on its way. No, it didn't go further, did it? No. So at 7.35, we're going to have a shindig show. Just yeah. stay tuned, everybody. Shindig. Okay, shindig show. Mm -hmm. Well, it went flat, so uh, I came up here, got the lug wrench and the jack and the air tank. And I you mean use this right down there, sure uh, enough? Right, uh, right down there? Oh, no, we weren't. I think we went that far. And then you we come were, back and got no, the jack? We were way out. Chris, uh, Sun Chris, and Chris, uh, way out. Uh, okay. uh, well, yeah. did you have to come back here and get the tools? Yeah. Well, that seems like you ought to carry them with you, Bob. No, we we, we didn't carry tools in that truck because it's got enough tires that it is, can come in if one goes flat. No, I'd like to see you drive it when them front goes flat. Yeah, said, well, we'll put one in the middle. That was a scooter. But uh, we come back and got the jack and the lug wrench and uh, took the uh, air tank out there and uh, uh, we pumped the tire up and we come right on in with it. So I may have been the problem anyhow, I was so low on uh, air that it was going over the bounces it uh, was flattened itself. But I'm going to have to put some rubber on that trailer. So somebody's looking for a real nice boat trailer. It is a nice boat trailer. You still got a boat too, don't you? Oh, I got the boat too, yeah. You know, for 
just a little bit more, I'll put the boat on there, too. <laughs> you ought to make a camper out of that boat. Which boat? That one up there? That little one. Huh? That little one. We could probably launch that down there below the dam and get it in and out. You ain't got enough water? Well, I don't know, but I don't know how they're letting it out of the lake going somewhere. <laughs> I mean, they just pulled the plug on the lake. Yeah, I think they did too. <laughs> how about the dock? Is it high and dry? Oh, the dock's been out of the water for two months. Okay. I'm a fighting war to keep the the uh, pontoon boat afloat. I have to go in there and move it every day or two. I had a well, you got one, oh Lord. You got one that you don't have to worry about uh, floating. There's one up there in your yard. Oh you? yeah, <laughs> but I got. To, I'm gonna launch that sucker. Somebody. I wish you would get them winders out there out of the yard. Okay, for, I will. I'll um, do that. I'm gonna come out and uh, get the pontoon boat and uh, do some work on it, and I'll pick the winders up all at the same time. And get that glaze that goes with them. Okay, I'll do that. But that turn that. Uh, I went down there and I had everything figured out and I got my anchor out there and, and well it's complicated but I lost my anchor. You did? Yeah. I had three concrete blocks and a and a and a Ford rotor and a um, and your Boy Scout knot come undone. That there big old chunk of iron you give me that time. Uh -huh. I might be able to snag the rope. I was trying to set it out yonder so I could move out any time I wanted right. to and. I messed up. I mean, I've been known to mess up before. You lost my favorite chunk of, of metal. I tell you where it's at if you want to go get it. <laughs> no, thank you. All you got to do is swim out with it. <laughs> don't, don't, I think I wait to warmer weather. <laughs> yeah, I messed up. But maybe I'll work it out. I think I can work it out sooner or later. Folks, they, they say there's good fishing out at Ronnie's place. He says, not too good on the catching part, but you can fish all you want yeah, to. Yeah, there's plenty of fishing out there. <laughs> Ain't no fish, as far as I can say. I guess somebody catches some, but there's plenty of fishing. Right. Plenty of opportunities well, you to could fish. You could catch one of them old, what is that thing, the more you chew on it, the bigger it got. A drum? <laughs> Made out with my rubber fish. I've had rubber donuts, they're bagels. If you, do you reckon Napa sells boat anchors? <laughs> hey, I'll guarantee you can have you one here by lunch. <laughs> I could order one, couldn't I? I could get one V8 boat anchor. They sell everything else. Up there across my IGA, they sell all sorts of car and, and machinery parts. they got tractor parts and boat parts. And I'm sure you'd probably get a boat anchor up there if you wanted to wait on it. They'll have it in the morning at opening time. Right. Now, I ain't recommending them for boat anchors, but I'll recommend them with anything automotive and almost anything mechanical. Right, then if they got boat anchors, I'll guarantee you that they're built to sink. 5629406 if you want to call and order your boat anchor. Right, <laughs> whatever you need. Tell them Bob recommended them. <laughs> Southern distributor for boat anchors. Yeah, yeah, well, they may have the market cornered on boat anchors. What kind of an anchor are you using, mud, anyway? Is what? Mud. Me work won't get stuck in the mud. No, I want one that will get stuck. Oh, it's got a, you got to have one that uh, got a big, big thing on it that dig down in it, you know, and almost like a scoop. Where's a scoop? Well, I've got a little one, about so big. I need a bigger one, I guess. It does all right till you get way out there where they ain't nothing but mud. Right. I mean, when you're, as long as you're digging up a little swamp grass, it's all right. Right. But it'll drag that there. The, when the wind's up, it'll drag that anchor all over the place. I've got two anchors on it right now. I hope it holds. I've well, I've had a long there. rope to a tree. Well, I'd have to reach across the lake. See, I need to hold it out to keep it from coming into the bank. Uh -huh. I don't have any trouble keeping it tied to the bank. Okay. But if I get it tied to the bank pretty good and the lake goes down, I can't get it back in the water till spring. Pray for rain. Well, I've been praying for rain <laughs> in California. So the grapes will grow and they can make more right. wine. <laughs> I was saying, the uh, only thing I admire about, uh, uh, what's his name, Gary Brown, was Linda Ronstadt lived with him. Yeah. She lived that there one-legged governor too, or right. senator. That one-legged senator. 
Curry? Yeah. Curry, curry? That ain't right, is it? Not Perry, Perry, but Perry. it started with a K. Out there in Colorado, I no, believe. Not Kassini. Huh? Was it Kassini? I think he was a senator. Yeah. Not, not Chisholm Chin, but the other. Right. Did she live with him there? She was out there with that Nebraska guy. I think he's from Nebraska. He was a, he was a one-legged war veteran. Now, and still is a record. One-legged and a veteran. Um... Rainbow does not have that 299 breakfast special this month. I think it's 329 or something. And that, I mean, buddy, you can't buy two eggs and and biscuits or toast and and eggs, two uh, two eggs, uh, uh, bacon yeah, or jelly and butter. Yeah, you just get a whole, a whole truckload of stuff. Of and I don't know how they do it for 329 or whatever it is, but I want you to know that. That they still got the 99 cent baloney biscuit down there. You know what? Went to 329, don't you? Elections over, I guess. Obamacare. That's probably right. Probably when right. I talked with my brother last night. Yeah. And he said uh, now that the uh, medical insurance for him, his employees runs in three dollars and eighty cents an hour per employee. Okay. That means he got. Ellen knows how he spent, he spent millions of dollars on medical insurance every year. Said he liked the uh, uh, Mexican work workers. Mm -hmm. That they you would furnish them with the insurance, they would never use it because they had a small copay. So they just go down to social service and get done for nothing. <laughs> he knows they had insurance, social service. Because they couldn't speak English, <laughs> is, is, give them their is he going to make them part-time workers so he don't have to do Obamacare? No, I don't know what he will or not. Uh, uh, his uh, his business is pretty profitable, and he can absorb probably some more. Reckon he'd like to invest in UG TV. <laughs> I, I was talking about. Let me tell you, this is that, uh, honest truth. I was going to buy a cemetery one uh, one time. Well, I mean, I've always wanted one. Well, the cemeteries are very profitable. <laughs> I'd say they are. People are dying. And you don't have a lot of complaints from customers dying either. They get in every day, and you are, all your customers are satisfied. Yeah, and you can't get but rid of them. Wanting, they were wanting seven hundred fifty thousand dollars for the cemetery. I, I said, "Well, I don't know what I'm going to do for seven hundred fifty thousand dollars." So I called Brother Dean up. I said, uh, "I might have a chance to buy the cemetery." Up here, he says, uh, how much they want for it? I said, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He says, well, is it a good investment? I said, I'm not real sure yet. I'm gonna have to check and see what their liabilities, uh, liabilities are. And he said, we well, let me know, and I'll send you a check. Well, how <laughs> do you get money off of a cemetery enough to make pay out three quarters of a million dollars for it? How do you make any money off of them dead well, people? You just charge them well, once. Huh? You can't charge them, but once. So you charge them enough, does it? Cemeteries, I managed one in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, that was, uh, I think they had about 69 nine acres in it, but they had an option on some more if they needed. Uh, but I average selling in excess of $125,000 a month in cemetery property. Well, how big a place did you have? You well, meant burying them on top of each other and standing yeah, up? No, one. This was all. This, this wasn't at need sales. This was pre need sales. Oh, <laughs> you gonna bury them off and die at the same time? No, you you, you deed it each lot. There okay. was a lot for each one. In fact, I forget how many uh, thousand you can bury per acre. Ooh. You bury a lot, but see, it's not just a lot. Say the lots ran like I have got. A farm. We need to start a graveyard with the understanding that it will remain a pastoral setting, and that way I can raise corn on the top of it. Well, now that way you can run some buffalo. Or well, some I could do that there. too. Yeah, I could but use you it. You know, there might possibly be uh, a market for an additional cemetery around here. I think so. People dying every day. And you no, imagine if no, I could still no, use it. The, the death rate ain't got, everybody's going to die, okay? It, it's got nothing I know to do you want to convince them they need to get pre, ready to die. You sell pre-need. The only opportunity you'll have 
to save money on your funeral is to buy now and die later. Yeah. Okay. You know, we could clean that hill off there and put in a graveyard, and I could fetch it in and pasture buffalo on it, there and I could go. probably get a grant. Say, come out and see the pastoral yeah. setting. Yeah, I could get a grant from them buffalo people, and I could market it to right. environmentalists so right. that they could see that I wasn't oh, wasting no, land. The maddest people I ever run into never get over. I forget what Tracy's last name was, but I played basketball against him. And he was a gentle giant because I knocked him on the floor. I don't know how many times. But every time we played him, I wound up knocking him on the floor. He's a big old guy. But his mother was buried there. And the people across the, on the other side of the woods there from us had a bunch of chickens. They would come over and scratch all over them graves. Yeah. And I could understand them getting uh, ill about it, but they were not our chickens. And we had been to the people, you know. And Tracy come in. <laughs> did you tell them, look, they're digging up our customers? <laughs> Tracy didn't know I was uh, ramrodding that out. But he'd come in there, you know, he's so, he was so big, he scared most people, yeah. you know. But when he found out who the chief honcho was, he knew he wasn't going to scare that one. <laughs> I told Tracy, I said, I, I sympathize with your problem, and I said, I'll do. What I do, I said, even if I had to take a pellet gun out there and start dropping those chickens, I would have. I'd have shot those chickens if a man, I told a man, I said, I'm going to start shooting them. You, don't, you can't shoot my chickens. I said, you just watch them start getting missing. <laughs> said, I mean, I can't shoot them. Well, you can. You, you've I mean, got I, range laws I, even on chickens. I, I had eight little bitties mm -hmm. out at my house, and they got to a a fence, a woven fence about that big, the hen couldn't get through. And Gramble called the uh, animal control officer because there's eight little chickens over in his yard. Well, I don't blame him. Man can't have chickens to track it around the yard. I've got <laughs> one guinea. I've got one one poultry item on the hoof right. at my house. And ain't but one place where that bird can poop. Right. On That's my right porch right where I walk. Right. That's the only place with a 40-acre farm, a 40-acre field right there in front of the house, and I have to clean the porch off every day. <laughs> I keep thinking he'll die. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Those I had, you know, they're the most interesting animals you can ever watch, you know. The they guinea? Come, they come flying around yeah. the house about good or high. You still um, got some guineas? Uh, you ain't no, got none no, now. Somebody okay. shot them. They come flying around the house about good or high. And shot land. them? Huh? You say shot well, him? I found one. I found out what was going on. I found one that had been shot down there on the side there. We probably know who shot him. Yeah. Yeah. So, come flying around the house, back gutter high, and land at the bottom of the fence, and then walk back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. That fence <laughs> trying to find a way in it. They yeah. Realized they could have flew over it because yeah. they were plenty high. Yeah. Well, I'll admit, the guineas are not the brightest birds in the world. <laughs> But they don't work for a living. Right. They never had to work for a living, do they? I don't, I've no, noticed that they do, no. No, I don't believe they put in a lot of effort. Must be Democrats. Must be. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, we need to figure out some way to open up a bird farm. Okay. Well, you heard about these Polacks that opened up chicken farm, didn't you? No, yeah, if there's any in. Polish Americans out there, we no, don't mean to offend you. They came into the uh, uh, hatchery and they got 10,000 biddies. They carried them back and carried them off. About 30, 45 days later, they were back in there again. They said, We want 20,000 biddies this time. They said, Well, you got 10 last time. They said, Yeah. They said, Well, you're going to really have a big poultry farm auction, he says, well, we never did get the first 10,000 to come up. <laughs> Is that the same guys that went in the watermelon business? And, and did what? Well, <clears throat> they got wore out of trying to get the crop planted and give up and quit. It takes it takes a long time to plant them things. You, take, you have to use a mattock and a shovel to dig a hole put the seeds in, you know. And one roll of wheel bar to haul the seeds in. I don't know, they gave up. I don't up. know, but they were the same ones that uh, traded their uh, cross-cut saw in for a chainsaw. 
No, no about that either. Yeah, yeah, they said they, they, they'd work hard as they could and they could just barely get a cord of wood a day with that uh, cross cut saw. Yeah. And if I was all you get three or four cords a day, maybe five with a chainsaw. So they took it, bought a real nice chainsaw. Uh, about a week later, they're back in and said, we want a cross cut pie. They said, we can't even get a cord of, that, a cord of wood a day out of this chainsaw. So, so I would say, why? So let's take it out back in and see what's wrong with it. So we take it back there and put a big old log up on the cross sticks there. Crank that thing up. One of them guys look at it and says, what's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't hearing no noise, was it? Well, folks, we're coming up on a wonderful little show. Right, you'll be rid of me and Ronnie. That we made down at the Country Time Lemonade Store, only it's really a dancing emporium. Uh, down down in the middle of town, down beautiful downtown of Folly. But before we do that, we've got to tell you one more time that one of the main sponsors of this show is Vital Care of Campbell County. Where is that? they serious business. If you get serious problems and need a ride to the hospital or back or something, you call them. 562-9370. Uh, every you, time. Or you can call 911 and request vital care. Right. And now don't call well, them. Now if your dog's barking, don't I'll request tell you, if you're from Carryville, at night you will not have to request vital care. Because they are looking after Carryville since they moved uh, their ambulance up to... Uh, the volley, because we said the pilot didn't have no coverage at night, so they just pulled one out of the uh, caribbean. Makes sense. Here it goes, folks. Okay, Thank see, you. We'll see you tomorrow night. See, see, uh, see you tomorrow night on Channel 12 at 8 o'clock and back here on the TV at 8 o'clock. Yep, we'll be that. Here it comes. You ready? Here it goes. We went down to Country Time Music Hall, beautiful downtown La Folly. This past weekend, hope you like some of this stuff. That's my day Running around all over town But now we're free Well, I'd like to know what I got I'm down to pouring hard I'm a fire That's my day
to please the man.
that's enough for tonight.
that you love me too. That's the way it happens every time you fall. Yes, it did.
That's a great old song right there. Somebody didn't remember it. I did. I did. I've been trying to remember that song. I've been writing songs. He's on my side. Waltzers out there, get you a partner and get on the dance floor.
pretend you like the person next to you. We went down to Country Time Music. 